Recently, everyone's favourite GTA speedrunner, who currently holds zero world records in speedrunning any category and is nowhere near the pace of actual good speedrunners, mentioned me in one of his rambles. YouTuber attacks me for not reading donations. Beats Down, a YouTuber, wrote a community post a couple of days ago. Just being told about Dark Viper AU watching my How to Speedrun Kira Perico in Under 30 Minutes guide as he was trying to learn how to do it. He spent at least an hour going through the preparations. I then joined his stream and point out he didn't read a message from a guy who donated, so he mutes me. Needless to say, he and the chat got everything else wrong that he was meant to do during the finale. Lol. Everything about this is a lie. So first of all, he claims everything I wrote in the post is a lie. The first part says, Just being told about Dark Viper AU watching my How to Speedrun K Perico in Under 30 Minutes guide as he was trying to learn how to do it. This was my mistake. He was actually watching my job warping guide. I thought he was watching my Kei Perico speedrun guide as it has the same information at the very beginning of that video. The next part of my post says he spent at least an hour going through the preparations. As you can see from the timer on his live stream, he only started the first Gavit Intel mission after more than two hours or just under two hours if you go by his own timer. Regardless, saying he spent at least an hour going through the preparations is 100% accurate as at least means a minimum. So far, he is the one lying. Imagine doing someone who doesn't bother reading chat 99% of the time. Beats. Because I just mute Beats. When I say imagine donating to someone who doesn't bother reading the chat, which is actually what I put as seen here and not the attempt at a sentence Dark Viper wrote here, I am indeed pointing out that he doesn't read 99% of the chat, which he doesn't. Of course, one of the reasons is because he has thousands of viewers and people in the chat, so of course he is going to miss most of it, especially when he is concentrating. But obviously when you're speedrunning or trying to learn something, you can't read chat. At every nanosecond. He then admits that he only reads half the chat. That's so fucking much. I read like half the messages in chat. And that I do not deserve to be read in chat. Go fuck yourself. You don't deserve to be read in chat. Fuck you. How ironic. I was not learning from his How to Speed Run Care Perico in Under 30 Minutes guide. Because even as ignorant as I was prior to starting the stream, I knew his guide was massively out of date. This is way out of date. No one should use it. The How to Speed Run Care Perico in Under 30 Minutes guide is not massively out of date as it was made in April of this year. The one I made back in March 2021 is a bit dated, hence me making an updated guide. I have also made a video on how I beat the PlayStation Speed 1 road record, which incorporated job warping. The most updated guide is not out of date, but it is primarily for console users, as PC players have a distinct advantage in being able to job warp all over the map in just a few seconds. So apparently, according to Dark Viper, who hates GTA Online and has little to no experience of the K Perico heist, reckons it's out of date, yet he has no reference point or an explanation as to how he thinks it's out of date. Again, the way the heist is done on PC is very different to the best way it should be speedrun on console. That's two lies he has told so far. They either will just outright lie or misunderstand entirely. Like he, he just joined the stream by his own admission. Another lie. Where does it say I just joined the stream? It doesn't. It just says I joined it. Let's have a look and see if he does read the donations. I've achieved the impossible. I never want to go through that entrance again. I should probably try and get some sleep now. Don't worry. You weren't keeping me up. I just wasn't tired. It's been fun. Catch you next time, matter less than three. Unless he is a master of ventriloquism and has changed his voice to that of a chatbot, no, he did not read the donation. I saw his message in order to mute him, personally. So you can tell that I do read chat. If his premise was true, that I don't read chat all that much, I wouldn't have caught his message. I don't think Dark Viper knows basic maths. 99% is not 100%. 99% means that he would read one message in every 100. Anyone who is over the age of 7 should be able to understand this. This means that him reading my one message does not negate my claim, as he did not read many of the others. Also, I was clearly using hyperbole when I said 99%. We are now 4 lines in from Dark Viper, and there is still more to come. So he mutes me. I saw his message in order to mute him, personally. Yes, he did mute me which he even admits to. I saw his message in order to mute him, personally. We're now up to five lies when he said, everything about this is a lie. 
And the last part of my post reads, Needless to say, he in the chat got everything else wrong that he was meant to do during the finale. Well, let's take a look at how the finale went. There were a load of people in chat telling him to buy the suppressors. At no point have you ever had to buy the suppressors. You get them automatically in the finale. The next thing they all got wrong was telling him to hit the cinematic button, which would allow the boat to steer sooner. You can hold the cinematic button. You can take control of your character faster. Okay. So you need to hold Y. This was patched many months ago after the Criminal Enterprises DLC and therefore no longer works. Then they were saying to blow himself up immediately to spawn closer to the Manchester bike. Wait. Oh, there you go. A. Step one complete. GPS trace acquired. Um. Not only was he doing it way too early, but also getting in the wrong direction. He did this six times before getting it into the compound as he kept getting it wrong, and numerous more times after that, after continuously failing. Well, I'm in a different spot, but is it the good spot? If you are going to blow yourself up immediately after taking control of your character, this only works with the patrol boat, and you'll spawn right inside the compound. He was then hilariously alerting the guards countless times. Um, I've already failed. <laughs> okay, let me, let me watch, let me watch the... It took him an hour to finally complete the finale. And like, look at how many comments he gets compared to likes. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't matter whether I have a hundred comments or a million. Being right is not a democracy. No amount of people disagreeing equates to whether they are right or not. That is the argumentum ad populum fallacy. Furthermore, most of the replies are me replying. So we have him on record lying five times about my post, despite saying that I am the liar. Popping into a chat for two seconds and immediately saying something that you can't possibly know. And now we're up to six lies. I was definitely more than two seconds in his stream. No, but imagine doing to someone who doesn't read chat nine times. He's just doubled down. He just doubled down. He just doubles down it. Yes, because I do not regret or retract my post. If I did, I'd take it down. But it's still up there being swarmed by his cronies. Why is so serious? Because this is actually a YouTuber. I mean, one who clearly isn't going that well, but... When I have time to put the effort in, my channel does very well. I had my best ever month in August this year. I make a nice sum of pocket money each month. YouTube is not my main job. I have two other jobs that I work a total of 45 hours a week for. Maybe if I sat on my fat ass at home all day with no sunlight, wearing the same clothes every day and just concentrated on making videos, my channel would be more popular. The near six hour climax? I don't think you know what a climax is. Something you and DV have in common with the opposite sex, I imagine. That is a hilarious line. Nobody can deny it, which is why he didn't. Like, why would I talk or watch a guide from some random person whose strats are massively outdated when I can just, like, talk to the person who actually has world record? Well, I currently hold console speedrun world records for Series A, the Pacific Standard, Diamond Casino Silent and Sneaky Approach, the Keo Perico as a co-op, Keo Perico Solo on PlayStation, and second on console overall, as well as many of the auto shop contracts. Dark Viper holds speedrun world records in absolutely nothing. In the job warp setup video, it said, the professional sucks. And I thought that might be a meme. I was actually gonna ask the professional about it, but apparently he's also started beef with the professional. The professional does suck though. That's really not up for debate. I've been saying he sucks for years. I haven't started beef with him. I just say he sucks and has no idea what he's doing because he doesn't. He's just a cloud chaser? As I constantly point out, there's no amount of criticizing or throwing shade at larger creators that ever helps a person. I'm not a clout chaser. I don't care whether you have zero subs or a million subs. If I think you're in the wrong or have an opinion on something you've said or done, I will put it out there. Many of the comments on my post don't have any subscribers and I still respond to those. I didn't say what I said to help myself. I said it because it's true. But it's not about what's true. It's demonizing my, me in this guy's mind to justify his business. Well, clearly not to you, as I've just proven. But it's just like me of all people to have this criticism against. Like, it's just so, so funny because I read more comments on my YouTube channel than like any person alive. And how would you possibly know you read more comments than anyone else alive? Or are we putting that down to just another one of your lies? 
But that's not the only thing he's been a hypocrite about. Do you remember his stance on reaction content creators? Well, let's see what his best buddy, TGG, has been up to recently. Oh look, he's watched Bits World Record K.O. Perico run in its entirety and reacted to it. Wonder what Dark Viper's thoughts would be on that. It could be possible that, uh, that he could be that delusional to think that, but I don't think that's the case most of the time. Shout out to Bits, by the way. He's a cool dude and a great speedrunner. Go check out his channel and sub him. Needless to say, I'm sure this video will get lots of hate, and you've probably already given it a big fat thumbs down within the first few seconds. I'm cool with that, just make sure you watched it enough to get at least one advert in there so your hatred will be paying me. Until next time, I'm Beanstown, and I'll see you in the next one.